Cleaning up the lines, cleaning up the lines, cleaning up the seams and the lines. You know, the more I do this, the more I think I should call the hobby sanding instead of modeling. You do any sanding today? Yeah, a couple hours. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I looked at some reference and <clears throat> these little pieces that go on the back the back of here they seemed a little bit plain now I don't know whatever this is call it artistic license call it what you want call it what you want I'm taking the pin vise with a really tiny whatever with a little tiny drill bit and I'm making six little holes around the the perimeter of the middle circle here's a photo of it so that's just I don't know call it detail whatever I just think it kinda gives the part a little bit more just gives it something cool well those are done one of them was kind of uh, a little fussy e it'll work though it'll probably all fill up with paint anyways <laughs> whatever okay so back to this I've tried to sand these as smooth as I can it's kind of a hard place to get into like I don't know. Yeah. And we've also got uh, not one, not two, not three, but four. Four beginnings of uh, guns. Yeah. So uh, there's a bit of CA goop there. Going to clean that up. And then cut out some more pieces. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it precious cool so this is what I got now um, I've just got one of them kind of mocked up here but basically that's how they're gonna look I know this isn't innovating anything by any stretch but it's neat to do it and you know to have success with it pretty much so yeah um, the little tube you know comes from evergreen that you cut her down cut it in half drill a hole through and uh, I'm going to go and finish these now. And it's kind of boring to watch. So, you can watch this instead. This is the fourth try. I got an email from a woman in the Netherlands that uses the call name Kitty on Starship Modeler Forum. And she sent me advice for a lathe, a do-it-yourself lathe, using a sewing machine that you might also be able to get a jigsaw out of. So I went to the Salvation Army and got me a sewing machine. This do-it-yourself is going to span a couple of weeks probably as I find time, make time to build this machine. And uh, yeah you can read along in your book you'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear scale model addict say beauty here's what I got for 15 bucks ye old singer sewing machine complete with as much mouse feces as one man could ever want Oh yeah, for real. Okay, I'm going to uh, start just by cleaning this thing up and then we're going to tear it apart. Um, she recommended using a machine that has the motor outside and they had one there, but it didn't run good at all. They had three and I tried one out and this one sounded the best and honestly it had the coolest pedal. I'm going to start just by uh, taking as much of this apart as I can just to kind of kind of get down to the, the bare necessities of it. It's been about 15-20 minutes and I've been tearing this apart little by little. There's a lot of complex stuff in there. I don't know who designed that but wow. 
They deserve a round of applause. Good job, guys and gals. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of beating at it. You can see... If this does work, right, it's going to be cool because it's foot controlled and you can, you can lathe it. Lathe me down and softly whisper. Okay, so after uh, whew, quite a while, I've managed to break it. Yep, it doesn't work anymore. It's still spinning, but like I've taken off enough parts that it doesn't spin good. So I've got a grinder out in the garage. I think I'm going to take it out there and just try to chop this front piece of it off and smash it with a sledgehammer, or drive over it or something. I don't know. I'll see you in a few. Hey, here's something I think is worth pointing out. So I've got these ready to go. I've got these ready to go. But the thing is, it's a little too wobbly. So I had some some more uh, evergreen tubing which the outside diam diameter fits the inside diameter of this but not here so what I've done is just take the pin vise I'm not sure of the size of this and I carefully drilled that out just to make it a bit bigger and then now this will go in here and that will go in there and you got a nice cannon. Okay, plastic. Plastic. There it is. One, and a two, and a three, and a four. Okay, anyways. There it is. Yeah! Check that off the list. Okay, there's some good news and there's some bad news. <laughs> the good news is, as you can hear, it's still turning. The bad news is, it wasn't pretty. Nope, she put up quite a fight. Let me show you how it looks. If you've got any ideas on how I can make that into a lathe instead of a broken sewing machine, Junkie at ScaleModelAddict.com, y'all. Thought I'd come outside, get a little bit of fresh air. You know, maybe see how the rest of the world is doing. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. God bless. I'm Scott Gervin. If you've got any questions or any comments, send me an email. Junkie at ScaleModelAddict.com. And uh, let's run in the snow.